Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and another video about the prop trading and pretty much giving an update on where I am with them and just some of the feedback I'm getting from a lot of Telegram group as well as other YouTubers and people on social media. So in the last video I was in profit on my challenge account and I had the option of trying in the last week to get to the 8% or literally just trying to ask for a retry. So I took the option of just requesting the retry because it was going to be too risky getting the 8% and I would probably been in danger of going into a negative. So I contacted their customer support just before my month was up. Just say, look, this is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to achieve it. I'm not going to trade for the rest of the period. Just say, okay, can you send me the login details to the new account so I can start working on that one once my uh, time had ended? And I've had nothing back from them. And I've chased them, I think, three or four times now. I'm doing it every single day and I'm getting no response back. And from what I can see in the Telegram group, there's a lot of other people in the same situation where they are just responding to their customer support teams and waiting days and days and getting nothing back from them at all. And for me, that is really, really poor. Even if you just put an automated email saying, we are inundated with customer support queries, we will get round to you in time and just almost put you into a queue. But there's nothing. It's literally as a void in their customer support team at the moment. Now, it could be that they're getting to the point where a lot of people have passed the phase one and phase two and they're trying to support those people and get all the contracts sorted out but it still doesn't sort of bode well that the the other people who have all signed up and wanting to get funded are just literally pushed to one side so they're obviously no longer important or they're too busy doing other things i've also had a lot of comments from people where they had passed the verification and gone on to the next phase and i think i've passed that as well and in the review, uh, the prop trader would come back and said, oh, you violated one of our rules, you traded oil. Now, I believe that the oil trades weren't significant, but they said you violated that and therefore you've now void. Now, I think on the original FAQs, it did state you couldn't trade oil, but it's very, very ambiguous and very unclear. Now it just says that you can trade 54 X pairs, cryptocurrencies, indices, and anything else is excluded. But it would be a bit nicer to have a bit more clarity around what you can and can't trade. And for example, with other prop firms, if you do make a violation on some of the tradings, they will just take those profits away from your overall uh, account. And then still, if you've passed it, then that's fantastic. Uh, but here, there's literally is a blanket void. There's no retry, no recourse to come back and, and argue that with them. One of the most contentious points I've been picking up as well is that if you do get funded with them, then they put a limit on the lot sizes you're willing to trade for the first three months on the, the actual live accounts. So the original FAQ stated that you could trade any lot size you wanted to up to your margin requirements. And that is still the same on the challenge side of it. But as soon as you get funded, they've actually put a lot limit on the trading and therefore it's really gonna affect a lot of traders. Now I think that if you are looking at risk management, the number of lots almost becomes insignificant, but here they've literally limited you. So for example, if you're going for a $200,000 challenge, you're limited to a maximum of 10 lots per instrument. Now you can have multiple trades running that could all be at 10 lots, but let's say you're trading on uh, GBPUSD. Now you're only limited to place one trade, maximum of 10 lots, or probably multiple trades up to 10 lots. But really it doesn't sort of um, bode well again for the future, being able to get in there and do some of the trading strategies that people are used to. And if you look at some of the other instruments, for example, trading Bitcoin at 10 lots is massive. Uh, trading FTSE at 10 lots is almost insignificant. Now for my trading style, if I was to get to that funded point, it wouldn't be a real issue with me because the majority of the Forex pairs that I trade being the majors, I would only go in at sort of a, a five lot for my risk management strategy, that's fine. So I've got no issue with that, but I know a lot of people do have a big problem with it. One thing I find really strange as well is they've done no social media updates at all. The last Instagram post was on the 12th of March, literally celebrating they had over a thousand people signing up and just done nothing with it since then. It just seems really in these modern times where everyone's literally craving for social media updates or Instagram posts, YouTube videos, they're just doing nothing at all. Now, it wouldn't take much literally to get someone just to give them their Instagram account and say, okay, fine, post some daily updates um, and just literally give a feel for what's going on. Therefore, it just gives the people a bit more comfort factor that they're not just taking the money and sitting on it and waiting for people to fail. Again, doesn't take a huge amount to start a YouTube channel and post a video a week of progress or what's going on. You only need a black backdrop and just a camera and a few lights and away you go. You can either do live streams or just a very basic video production and therefore just, again, keeps people informed what's going on and therefore 
gives them that confidence to either sub new subscribers or people who are already in the program to, to carry on. And my final point is there's been no development at all in the client area and showing some form of metrics to be able to allow people to view how they're progressing through the challenges. It wouldn't take a huge amount to get a developer to go in there and just do one or two tweaks to even the most basic things to show people if they've completed the 10 days of trading. Now, most people would know that, but again, it's something that they could have done very easily just to give people confidence they're actually progressing as a company and moving forward. All the time you're making false promises that you're doing it and you're developing it, but you never do. It just really, really smacks home that you're not giving the people what they want and willing to make the investments to make a great product. Now they could have recruited a software developer very easily, whether it's someone through Fiverr or an offshore um, type coding company, and they could have literally just gone into the website and even stolen some of the code or viewed what was being used by other people and just literally copied that because a lot of the people are using open source technology and you can easily see the coding on their website, so I can show you here. You can just go in there, view the, the source, take it from there and start building that platform out. It wouldn't take a huge amount of time and it would literally just show people you are committed to giving them what they want. So in summary, I still do think that the prop trading are a legit firm, but they could have done so much more to progress over the past six weeks since they launched. They're obviously inundated with the, the first one or 2,000 people literally flooding through and wanting to do challenges and they weren't able to cope with that. If you look at what Funding Talent did, they limited it to 50 a day for a period of time. And as they got their back end process supported, they were able to expand more and more and take more people on. And that's what they should have done here. So I'm expecting to see proof of payout in the next two or three weeks. So people have now got their contract signed and now working through their funded accounts. And as soon as we see that payout, it adds more legitimacy to the company. And therefore I expect a whole raft of new people to start signing up. And therefore that will swamp them more their customer support they have to improve it soon or they're going to get swamped and just go nowhere. Hope you've enjoyed my quick update on the prop trading. I'm looking forward to getting my new login details if they come back and provide those to me soon. And I can then start on the challenge phase again and fingers crossed get funded with them. See you again soon. Cheers.